We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Mm-hmm. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. <laughs> not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Hmm. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Mm. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Mm. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Mm, just Maybe being... you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um. Hmm. Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit. But she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Hmm. Enough to defend ourselves. Yep. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pumping this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew asshole. we were hungry. Hmm. And you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a you lot know what? more. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> down here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Oh my God! Ihr habt doch alle voll ein an der Waffel hier. Schlimm, schlimm. So. Oh, schon ganz schön viel Gas dabei. Zwei Kanister. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Hmm, stimmt. Let's keep some out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Hmm. Schon ein bisschen, wa? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. Mm -hmm. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Hmm. Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. 
Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Die haben auch übelst Dialekt hier. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. Or we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Ay, 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 ay. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Yep. Hey, ich finde das alles sehr ungenäß hier. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. Okay. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Hmm. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking mm -hmm. the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open and you find out what you can from Andy. Auf jeden Fall. Gucken wir mal. So. Erstmal gucken wir uns diese kaputte Schaukel an. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Um. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm, dann gucken wir mal, ob wir irgendwo ein Stück Holz und ein bisschen Seil finden können. Aber an sich sollte das nicht so das Problem sein. Er ist hier. Gut. Er fummelt hier an seinem Generator rum. Und hier ist ein Stück. Das ist zu groß jetzt, aber wenn ich etwas finden kann, um die Größe zu verändern, das wird ein guter Sitz sein für den Swing. Ja, wir haben doch hier wahrscheinlich direkt daneben die Siege. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. So, das hätten wir schon mal. Muss jetzt aufpassen mit Splittern und so, aber. Gut, dann müssen wir schauen. Ich glaube, hier oben war das Seil. Wenn ich mich noch grob erinnern kann, gucken wir einfach mal. Ich würde gerne hier hochgehen. So. Das war nämlich hier drüben. Hier drinnen. Hm. Sehr schön. This rope is perfect for the swing. Yep, deswegen nehmen wir es auch mit, auch wenn rumschnüffeln nicht ganz so cool ist. Was gibt's hier? Awards. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. 
<laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Mm-hmm. Dairy of the Year 1993. Ich hab's gesehen. Was gibt's hier? Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, jetzt reparieren wir erstmal die äh, Schaukel. Haben wir jetzt alles da. Und dann hoffen wir, dass das schon ein bisschen was gebracht hat. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. Be damn. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Hm, hm, hm. Die sind drin ja am Kochen. Ich will vielleicht ihn noch mal ein bisschen ausquetschen, ne? Gucken wir einfach mal, was er zu sagen hat. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Hm. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Yeah, well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Well, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick, you know, like us. Um, are we your first guests? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Okay. Na, dann Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Mhm. Auch ganz. Weiß nicht. Ich trau den nicht. Wir sind irgendwie, ne? So, how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Um. We'll work it out somehow. Yeah. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Hoffen wir es? There's one. Warum sind da lustige Pfeile in ihm? Lee. It's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Mm hmm. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Hmm. Who do you think he was? Uh. Maybe a farmhand. 
I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. So, na dann wollen wir ihn mal schubsen. Geschubst. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Hmm. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Um... What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Okay. So, thanks. There's another one. I see it. Oh, that's hard, niggas. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you hmm. think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Ja, dann bis. Mr. Crispy. Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh, oh boy. What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Where's our food, you asshole? So. Noch was. Warte mal. Da bin ich vorne. Ja. Okay. Boah, ist schon über erwischt, der Kunde. Das ist nicht. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Steve! You asshole! Ah, fuck you, little bitch! Where do you think you're going? Behind the tractor! Oh my, oh my. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Hopefully, she's gonna. Oh, 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 <lacht> oh no. So, jetzt. Yep. 
Jetzt wird's Zeit. Oh je. Yeah. Die haben ziemlich Dreck am Stecken, kann das sein, die lieben netten Leute hier? from the woods and we got trapped between them and the fence holy shit are, are you okay i heard mark yelling thought y'all were giving me the all clear man i am real sorry it's clear oh my lord what happened to you sweetheart it was those bastards in the woods mama yeah i'll be all right once it's out god damn it hurts hey y'all mark oh my god what happened he got shot with an arrow christ are you gonna be okay yeah i'm fine I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Oh my. Well, you must be the What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're mm -hmm. ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Okay. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay. Hey, kid, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, I've been the best. Sir. I got him, bum.